So uh, welcome, we're here at BAC Mono, my name is Michael Olsen and we've been here in uh, UK driving at Silverstone with uh, BAC with uh, two uh, customers of ours and uh, our first time testing the BAC Mono. The experience was just amazing, we were just like this all day and uh, we actually had a sunny day at Silverstone, which you can see in the video, um, and today it's raining. So. We've got a, done something good in our lives because it was like non-British weather yesterday. Um, we can just have a quick look at this is actually the factory where they build the cars, and it's it's quite nice to see how they manage to build all the way through the process. And as you can see, it's a pure Formula car. And, and those of you who raced Formula Fords and stuff like that, it's kind of looking just like a Formula Ford, but every detail is just made up perfect. So we can just have a look a bit closer. What we can see is that the, what I'm talking about is that the, the, you have the gearbox, which is a Hewland uh, sequential gearbox, the FTR. Um, we have the bell housing, the gearbox, the differential, um, and then we have the engine, which is, I think, two points. 2.5, yeah, I think 300 horsepower, 285 maybe, uh, which means actually the car weighs about 500 kilos, and it's just the, the feeling of driving a car like this is it's very. You have this, the center of gravity, and, and it's just very nice and tidy. We ran on, on street legal tires, of course, because the amazing car with the BAC motor is that it's actually street legal, um, and I mean. What a car to drive! This this kind of car on the racetrack, like Silverstone, and you're passing all the supercars, of course, because of its low weight, good performance, and just very nice handling. So. And, um, and the Mono, uh, we had some wonderful days at, at Silverstone. Uh, we got to thank you for the opportunity, of course. And just tell us short, shortly about the BAC Mono. Well, I mean, thanks for uh, sharing our passion and, and, and sharing the day yesterday. I think we all had a we all had a great day. Well, certainly, you guys did. Uh, I was watching from the pit lane, and uh, I think for for us when we started BAC back in 2009, to be able to meet new people around the world. Uh, who share our ethos and passion for uh, for driving, and, and, and whose hobby is is also our hobby, which is which is driving, whether that's on the road or whether it's on the track. Um, so we had a great time yesterday. But it's also really really flattering for us to meet people who uh, who think the way we do and have the, the same approach. And of course, meeting new customers is, is always fantastic. But um, yeah, about the car, um, the car is the only uh, the world's only road eagle single seater. Uh, supercar, so um, the car is produced here in Liverpool. Uh, we work very closely with uh, our supply chain that's locally based here around the factory. Um, the car is all designed and built here in the UK with one or two exceptions, but in the vast majority all the components come from the, the UK, a mixture of the motorsport suppliers but also regular OEM suppliers you'd expect to find on, on Porsches, Lamborghinis, Ferraris and so on. Uh, we're making currently two cars a month, very, very soon we'll be at three cars a month, that's to meet the, the global worldwide demand um, of the car. Um, we export to over 30 countries, um, so we are selling the car in, uh, in Scandinavia. Um, it's a great, really interesting market for us, but I think the mentality of the people in Scandinavia have a real love and passion for, for all forms of motorsport, anything with an engine. Um, yeah, so um, you know the car's best enjoyed on the road or on the track, and um, that's what the whole design ethos is for it. That um, the car can be driven on the road and enjoyed with other friends in supercar clubs, um, or it can be enjoyed uh, on a track. And as yesterday showed, it's it's in your hands at least. Yeah. Um, the car is is blisteringly fast. But I also think the biggest uh, the biggest compliment to the car is that anybody of any experience can drive the car. You don't have to be a, a professional racing no. driver to drive the car. Anyone of, of any experience, however big or small, can drive the car and uh, can have a lot of fun in it. 
Yeah, I, I must say, if, even if you're not experienced, I mean, you're going just by going 50% of what the car does. It's, yeah. it's extremely quick anyway. So it's and um, I gotta say, for for the as I get it, for the Swedish market, we can get a street legal BAT Mono delivered in the near future. I mean, if you order one now, you will get it. The lead, the lead time for cars is typically around six months. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, there's a deposit for the car that secures the sales slot. And as you can see behind us here, um, we basically have uh, at any one time something in the region of around uh, eight to ten cars in build. And each of these cars is numbered. So a deposit on a car basically secures a build slot. And then just before the car goes into production, um, then the customer order is frozen. So he has to finally decide. This is the hardest decision that anyone has to make is what color that the car has to be in <laughs> and what options that you want on the car. Um, mostly aesthetic, uh, I have to say, in terms of the options. Um, and then uh, there's a final payment when the car is, is, uh, is, is, is collected. And we can deliver the car anywhere in the world with our shipping partners and also with our, um, our flying doctor service, we can service the car anywhere in the world as well. Um, but, but preferably working with a local partner um, who's experienced to work on the cars and, and give uh, optional customer service. Without saying too much, we you know we're from the from the motorsports uh, scene, and we just want to know: Do you have any uh, near future thoughts about doing something as a racing series? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's definitely the next frontier for us. Um, all of our customers share that passion. And actually, when you look at the car as a, as a proposition for motorsport, on slicks this car will do GT3 lap times. It's one third of the price and less than 20% of, uh, of the annual running costs to do a race series. So as a value proposition, there's nothing quite like it. The great thing is because it's a single seat and it has enclosed wheels, it means it also has the safety aspects that you would expect of, a, of an enclosed wheel car, but you still have that single seat experience, so yeah. there's nothing else quite like it. Yeah, that's cool. We'll end the interview there, and we'll thank Neil from uh, BAC for a very kind visit. Oh, thanks for coming over. Cheers, mate.